Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today is a great day because we are having some fantastic progress on the new production greenhouse here at Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. Um, so if you uh, are a faithful follower of us, you know that we are expanding our production areas. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad you're here. What's happening today? Lots of things are going on. We have our great crew that is back with us. Uh, Roger and the fellas are here putting in, installing the, the posts that are gonna hold basically the greenhouse together. Clearly we have a concrete truck here and um, we'll just kind of go down here and take a look at this. Now, what this is going to be, this is, we get all of our greenhouses from Atlas Greenhouses out of Georgia. Fantastic company to work with. Um, great great products so all of our houses here on the property came from atlas this is going to be a 90 by 96 um, super arch gutter connected greenhouse what that simply means is is that there's going to be three bays and you can we can actually see those three bays now um, gutter connected so it is going if you're looking remember retail that is also a gutter connected but those are peaks this is an arch so it's still going to have kind of um, a rounded top I'll, we'll try to find a picture and throw it up there for you but each bay is 30 feet long and 96 feet long so today like I said, what they're doing, and this is a completely different installation um, than the one at the retail greenhouse. So if you followed along with us on that construction, this is completely different. We're going to stay out of their way. Um, but let's just tiptoe over here. So for example, this is going to be the first bay closest to the greenhouse, the current production greenhouses. Clearly they've already set these posts. They have um, mixed up the concrete in such a recipe formula that they are pouring in the concrete and then coming back and putting these posts in the ground. Clearly they have lots of string lines going on. They have to keep everybody nice and even. Roger's over there making sure everybody's level. So they come back and they take these hollow tubes and jam them down in there concrete is going to set and then the greenhouse structure the bones shall we say are nice and in there that frame is nice and secure we will come back later once part of the greenhouse is or, or more established i think it's next week that they're going to come back and pour concrete for like the sidewalks and all of those things so just to kind of fast forward just a little bit so we've got these three bays here putting it in they're actually filling in I think the last hole right now because I think they've already done this row so the fellows up there are uh, monitoring that concrete and then they'll come back and set the rest of these posts fast forward a little bit we got the retaining wall done Andrew and Jerry and the gang worked very hard on getting this retaining wall put in so nothing fancy y'all and no we didn't film it there are 10 million different YouTube videos out there to tell you show you exactly how to install a retaining wall we focus on plants here we just got this done and got it up but we had to go ahead and put in this retaining wall remember because when Jason and the guys were here prepping the land because of the massive slope, you'll see we're going to spin around here right quick. Um, they had to take out about three, three and a half feet from down here um, because that far end was so low. When we took out this, obviously you can't just have a wall of dirt here because that's not going to go very well long term. So we put this retaining wall here to hold this back. We've got drains on the back side of, of the wall so that water will drain. And then we're going to come back through here and we're going to get French drains all in through this area. So you can see as the wall comes, we move along, the wall just simply tapers down and we keep it very, very simple. So uh, let's see. Yep. Coming on down through here, this of course will be the backside of the greenhouse. We were talking to Roger yesterday and I think what we're going to do is kind of sit, they're going to set the slope of the greenhouse so it will drop about six inches to the back. So when the rains come and the gutters fill up, they will all drain towards the back and then we can pipe it out that way. So 
yeah so this will be on down on this side is really nice because i think we have like what 10 feet down here um so this is the back corner of the greenhouse look at that so nice and pretty and straight these guys just do a great job um, it's so nice to have roger and the crew back because um, while some of his crew is different roger is the same did a great phenomenal job installing the retail greenhouse and so to know that he is back we just we have full confidence so we just talked to roger we know that they'll get it done the concrete truck was supposed to be here at like seven this morning no problem they had it done not a big deal um, so that's it's nice to have those guys back but basically here we have uh, 10 feet before the slope really kind of comes down so we will use this uh, for various ways we can use it we can we're gonna put concrete or we're gonna put gravel here a little bit yeah Okay, so we can either put, like Jerry was saying, we can either, you we can go ahead and concrete this, this 10 feet, or we can just use it as gravel yeah. and put it down. Um, we can use it for various things. We can bring plants out here and have like a nice transition zone, let them grow. We can use it as a road. It's very, very versatile. But the great thing about this greenhouse is that all four sides will roll up. So if you're familiar with the production greenhouses, the sides roll up, right? It's all connected to the thermostat. And um, we have another 18-wheeler showing up. He's not supposed to be up here. We're, he's not supposed to be up here. What does he have? No, well, he's supposed to dump it down there. Okay, so we're going to take a quick little break because we have um, an 18-wheeler with mulch, compost, something of the, the sorts that's not really supposed to be up here. So... Um, we're gonna take a break let jerry figure that out <laughs> and then we're gonna go up there and look at the um, million gazillion pieces of the greenhouse all right friends so uh <laughs> the chaos ensues around here at creekside so jerry uh is escorting the mulch truck down to the greenhouse to where he was supposed to dump uh bless his heart he had instructions to go there and it's okay that's we're just gonna roll the punches around here so i thought i would just grab uh, the handheld camera and just kind of go through here and just give you a behind the scenes tour of um what's happening right now so the fellas behind me are so the two outside um walls are set they are nice and level and you can see that they are doing great um roger peanut and jose are coming in and working together and getting these posts in the ground so initially what they're doing is just essentially just getting them in right so they're working together and picking them up and putting them in then once they're in then they will come back and make sure that they're nice and level i think you can see probably um, the yellow string lines that of course is keeping everything nice and square and plumb clearly they started with this one but it's not exactly right and then uh yeah as they go down the line they will come back and of course and make everything nice and pretty and nice and straight and nice and level so we're not worried about that whatsoever um so they're going to continue doing this and then the concrete truck is dumping the, the extra concrete down there um, we have a little area that could use some concrete so we paid for it might as well go ahead and use it right now what happens when atlas sends the greenhouses um, to the job site they use the trucking company abf which is great because what happens is they will bring the truck and then they just drop the trailer and then whenever the trailer is empty we give them a call and they come pick it up so there's no rush there's no pressure there's no pressure on us to hurry up and get it unloaded as far as you know the truck driver waiting on us the truck driver is very efficient so he can drop and go and it is great the green uh the trailer i did not see it but they said it was jammed full and you can um understand why so uh i don't know all of the exact details as far as like exactly what is everything i have a general idea we'll just kind of go through it but just know that here we go all of this right here will be put together to make this uh, gorgeous, very efficient, very productive greenhouse. We do have some of, these are the same, same type of material that we have at the retail greenhouse where it is that, um, I know this is not technically correct, just go with me, plastic, right, um, walls. So it is clear, you can see through it. This is what is on, like I said, the retail greenhouse and on the front of the greenhouse down there. So 
The vast majority um, will not be this. It will be that fabric because of course we have to roll up all of the sides. Um, we've got doors right here. These are the sliding doors that we um, have in all of the greenhouses. Again, too, they have the protective barrier on both sides. That plastic just pulls right off and then those will be clear doors. Essentially, they're sliding doors, right? What we would consider like a barn door slides left to right. And so those are for um, the human doors, shall we say. Coming around, then you've got um, the rafters and I don't have my, my technical guys here y'all so um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it right here um, yep so those are the arches they will put all these guys together you've got gutters you've got these are the bags um, I do know that that are gonna be all of the fabric rolls so those are gonna be those fabric sides that roll up and down tons of nuts and bolts and um, this will be, that looks like trash over here. We've got lots of connectors. I mean, just pieces among pieces among pieces. And that, my friends, is why we adore having Roger and the guys here because I don't have to know how all these pieces go together. <laughs> Roger and the fellas do. So <laughs> there you go. Um, like this will tell you right here, like they're, they're written on it, right? So Creekside Nursery, um, it is the super arch. There are three of the 30 foot by 96 super arch, and those are the center connectors, and there are 75 pieces. So there you go. So the things are labeled um, for them. You've got purlins down here. Um, all of this will, you know, of course, connect and give the structure to the greenhouse for sure. Now we're gonna spin ever so slightly so it's not to make you uh, dizzy. And we're gonna come in here because they did set some things in the dry storage that need protection because even though there is no rain on the forecast, unfortunately, um, still, you know, go ahead and protect it while we can. Not that these metal pieces have to be uh, protected, but they did go ahead and put those in here because they were on a pallet makes it super easy. These guys right here um, totally recognize this. This is what's going to go along the side of the greenhouse and then the curtain will um, be behind that. So the curtain will be between the greenhouse and these poles. That way it catches um, if a wind gust comes along and so the curtain doesn't blow out sideways. So that is what those are. And then We've got shutters, aluminum shutters. So this will be where it uh, allows the clean, fresh air to come in when they need to vent. Those guys will open up and allow um, air circulation in. And then here we go, we've got heaters and we have got fans. So we've got, because there are three bays, three greenhouses, you have got three of the heaters this will um, of course <laughs> it is a uh, production facility so we're gonna have to have some heat because we start growing our annuals in there I think our first order is arriving week three so in the horticultural world when you order plants you order them by the number of the week of the year so the very first week of, of 2024 is week one and then we all just say you know they're gonna arrive week three or they're gonna arrive week five or week seven our first round is arriving week three. So the third week of 2024, which will be mid-January, um, we will get our first annuals in. Still a little chilly here in North Carolina. Um, and so we will need those heaters to be running and so that everything is nice and warm in there. So I think what we're gonna do is just kind of set the camera up, check in periodically throughout the day. Jerry's gonna have the drone up and going for us to give you a bird's eye view because it is quite challenging sometimes to uh, document the scale of what is happening here on ground level. And I do know that everybody, including myself, loves to have the drone up and to have that perspective. So we will have that. And then later this afternoon, we're just gonna let them work. Later this afternoon, um, we're gonna come back up here and we are going to check on their work, kind of see where things are, what's happening, and then what the plan is moving forward from here. So it's a busy, busy day here at Creekside Nursery. 
as per normal. I tell you, whew, never boring around here, my friends. Never boring. All right, we'll see you in just uh, a couple of seconds, but it'll it'll be the end of the day. Hey friends, all right, so it is the next morning. Uh, that's the great thing about Roger and the guys. They just work until the job is done. Obviously with the concrete, they had to uh, wait multiple hours until it started to harden before they could come back. So when they came back, it was late in the afternoon. They worked into the evening. So here we are to give you an update on how uh, everything has progressed. You can see that they have some additional structures here on the post. What these are, these are the gutters. This is a gutter connected greenhouse, meaning that this will appear to be one massive greenhouse that will enclose like one building. However, it can be used as three separate greenhouses. Gutter connected, meaning of course, um, try to work here with the sun with those gutters. We might move around to the other side here. Um, so what they did is they came back and got those gutters put on because um, this is the great thing is that they, they know all of the parts and as far as the order of the parts that go in there. I love it because I don't have to I don't have to worry about that. So these gutters will obviously catch any kind of rain um, that comes along. And I think I told you, but I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna repeat myself, please forgive me, that these, um, Roger set the gutters to have about a six inch slope from front to back. That way um, we can really uh, kind of move that water to the back of the greenhouse where we will of course have it connected with some drainage and it will be able to be um, pulled away from the greenhouse because we of course we do not want that uh, water to be hanging out here and we want to move it away as far as we can. So this is that great, um, this is the 30 bay, right? So there's three 30 foot greenhouses in here. So a total of 90 feet wide and that goes 96 feet long. The concrete, as you can see, has gotten nice and hard. The posts are in there nice and straight and even. They've gotten everything that needs to be on here. They have, um, Roger and the crew, they have gone back to Georgia for a couple of days because the next step here is going to be the rest of the concrete. And so Roger and the guys left this in a good spot. They could have kept on working, right? They could have started putting on the arches and different structures up top. But like Roger said, this will make it super easy um, for, much easier for the concrete guys when they come in here with the concrete trucks and they're spreading the concrete so they don't have to worry about any like clearance up top. So if they have a boom, they can bring the boom in, they can drive the concrete truck directly onto the pad behind us just like they did when they were pouring these holes. So they intentionally stopped at this point. They are gone back to Georgia, or at least working on another job. And then they are gonna come back after the concrete has been poured. So it is this uh, beautiful construction dance between all of the different parts. And there you go. So what will happen as far as concrete now? Jerry is not with me, so this could, this is a subject to change, but as I know it, this bay, this greenhouse will be a solid pour of concrete. We're only doing that in one of the houses because this house is going to pre uh, predominantly hold the potty machine. So once in January, the potty machine of course is in the production annex. Once it fills up those two greenhouses, we'll take it out and we will put it in here. It will stay in here um, pretty much for the rest of the year. And we'll see if it goes back in 2025. Oh gosh, that's hard to say. Um, back into production, the annex. But here it will stay. So we're going to have a solid concrete floor. That way it can then fill up the other two houses. And it just makes it easier. When we're in that production mode, it, it makes it easier to have a solid concrete floor. We will have, you know, conveyor belts and all the things that will easily move the plants from one bay to the next. So concrete will be fully in here. And as far as I know, we will have concrete that will come out 
X number of feet here in the front as well. So the concrete will come out whatever determined length Jerry wants. And then between um, within the other two houses, we are going to have concrete in certain areas. So as far as I understand it, there will be a concrete sidewalk, for a lack of a better word, that goes straight down the center. And then on each side, those will be the two um, bays that we have for growing. And so that will be, it'll have like a base of gravel, um, various gravels maybe, and then the landscape fabric on top, nice and tight and cinched down. That way, um, a couple of reasons you can have solid concrete floors. I mean, we have it in the other houses that totally works, um, but you also can do it this way with the gravel and the landscape fabric on top. Obviously the landscape fabric with gravel um, is gonna be considerably more cost effective than doing solid concrete. If at some point when we wanna come back and fill that in with concrete, we certainly can do that. But also there's just, you know, in, in these areas, it just that's just the way we're going to go so you will see production houses that do both ways they will do solid concrete they will do um if they have flood floors we've talked about those before with other production houses like the big houses uh spring uh yeah spring meadows has that uh Pleasant View Gardens has that. Most of your big boys will have those flood floors where they irrigate from the bottom and it comes up from the bottom and then it drains back down. We're not that advanced yet, so we're not gonna do that. Um, so we will have down the sidewalk and then I wanna say obviously between the posts, we will have concrete as well there. So you can imagine, right? So if it's a four foot, five foot, I don't know what his measurements are on that here and then the middle um, and then all the way down, of course, um, through here. So things are moving quite nicely. That is uh, quite fun and exciting. I want to say, I know somebody's probably going to ask these posts, um, if Jenny is five feet, I'm going to say they're probably 12 feet. They're 12 feet tall. Um, so to give you just kind of a perspective here on everything, we are not, um, going to eliminate those two production houses behind us. Absolutely, we're gonna continue that. We are building this greenhouse because Creekside is growing, right? So we are growing with our online sales. Remember, come in spring of 2024, we will be offering not only the shrubs, but annuals and perennials. And so we've got to have more growing space for those plants. And then we do grow our own plants for our gardens here at the nursery. So with the signature garden and the more gardens we add, we're gonna need more plants. So <laughs> as the business grows, as the nursery grows, as the garden grows, we need more production space. So that is what these houses will be for. And with them being heated and all that option, it just makes it just really, really versatile. We have no problem getting 18 wheelers up here. They come up here um, and come behind us. In fact, uh, yesterday we had a total of six different either tractor trailers and that included the concrete truck so six massive trucks in one day it was an absolute zoo around here we just kind of hold on and go for the ride and uh, it's never boring here at creekside i know we say that all the time never never boring whatsoever now we will obviously bring you back for the big concrete pour because that is going to be a big fun day where they are going to be doing lots and lots of work here. So we'll bring you along for that. Um, and then when Roger and the guys come back and start putting on more tops, we will, of course, take you along for that. As always, we so appreciate you. Thank you so much for all of your support of Creekside Nursery. Uh, Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.